Like that's a whole different story. Judah right. or kings were wicked. That's right. That's why yeah, we had many wicked. Yeah, you're so, right. So so that's the reason why we went into captivity into Babylon because right. our kings were wicked. But we had a couple good ones, and I think Hezekiah was like a good king. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's keep going. Right and um, who's Samanasar, the king of Assyria, led away captive. He carried them over the waters and came they into another land. So the the northern kingdom, which includes the Mexicans, they were carried away into captivity. Right. It says, but they took counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a farther country where never mankind dwelt. So you went into captivity under the Assyrians. They left the Assyrians and they went to a land where never mankind dealt with, which is the Americas. Right. But it's really a fulfillment of prophecy, and I'll show you how, right? It says that they may keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. So when you got over here to America, you were supposed to keep the law, statutes, commandments of the Lord. Right. So if you look back in your history and you look back in the Native American history, you see a lot of similarities to the Israelites, with the customs of the Israelites. Because you guys are Israelites, but you didn't keep the law perfect. Because you didn't keep the law perfect, the Lord sent a nation against you and not sent the curses to punish you. That's why the Aztecs were taken down. That's why you speak this people language and you look up to their God. Because they were sent to punish you. And the same thing happened to us. So we went through our kings. We went through Babylonian captivity, the Persian and Medes, right? And then eventually, the same people that go back to the Greeks is the same people that conquer us. Europeans, the British, they are the Greeks. They're the ancient Greeks. Where did the Greeks go? They're the ancient Romans. Right? They have the same sign, the sign of America, eagle. Same thing as the Roman Empire. They're the same people. So they came back to conquer us. We were taken into the transatlantic slave trade because we sinned against our Lord. But it was all fulfillment of prophecy to reunite the 12 tribes of Israel. So the Lord took us in slavery, and we didn't want to go on ships. Native Americans were on ships. Latinos were on ships. They was breaking up families and sending them back and forth, South America, North America, to break up your power. And That's a new family, yeah. Exactly. So can you go to Jeremiah 50? Kind of right? Mark's attitude too. Yep. So Jeremiah 50. So the prophecy at the end, right, is that the 12 tribes of Israel will come back together. So the Lord did this by the transatlantic slave trade, right? Same thing happened. We were in cotton fields, right? You guys were in tobacco fields and gold mines, right? So same thing happened to us by the same people. What a coincidence. You see what I'm saying? So the Lord did that to punish us as a nation for sinning against them. Worshiping false gods. I'm open to that. I'm you see what I'm that. saying? Yeah. So the prophecy at the end is, and they put it in their movies and stuff like that. You can see it. The Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are going to come back together as one people, and then our Lord is going to come back and save us and destroy Mystery Babylon, which is America. Can you get that in Jeremiah 50? Yeah, uh, like verse 2. Yeah, verse 2. Jeremiah 50, verse 4. In those days and in that time, saith the Lord, the children of Israel shall come, they and the children of Judah okay, together. So the children of Israel, northern kingdom is called just Israel. We are called the children of Judah. We're called Judah, but we're Israelites all together. So it says the children of Israel and the children of Judah. Can you get that? Yeah. I got it. Yeah. Keep going? Yeah, keep going. Okay. Uh, together, going and weeping, they shall go and seek the Lord their God. So that's what happened now. When you look at the Hebrew Israelite movement, this is a small town, but look at the camps in Chicago. You see Latinos, yeah, you see Native America. Americans, you see blacks all together on the tree. Come that's on. a fulfillment of us coming together and we're weeping to our Lord. Keep going. Verse 5. They shall ask the way to Zion with their faces thitherward, saying, Come and let us join ourselves to the Lord in a perpetual covenant. That shall not be forgotten. Oh, right there. So that means we're not in our land. So we'll be looking towards our land saying, well, we want to go back home. We want to, but it said we should join ourselves together. That's what uh, the Lord is waiting for. He's waiting for us to come together as one people and wake up out of the false doctrines and the false religions and, and the foolishness that we've been taught. So everything I'm saying to you is the truth. I've been coming from the Bible, not my heart. I've been reading it out the Bible to prove to you. Uh -huh. Whether you agree with it or not, you know. So, but it says, and then they should remember the covenant. So, what I deal with is prophecy. We ain't got to argue about our feelings. What did the Lord say is going to happen, right? So, you say all nations can be saved. I say all nations cannot be saved. But we both agree that if you're saved, you're going to go under the new covenant, right? Anybody right. that the Lord saves is going under the new right. covenant. I believe everything the Bible says. Like, you get, sim simple as that. Can you get Jeremiah 31, starting at verse 31? So, now, well, the in question, context, right? Like, 
Just so you know. Context, yes. right. It gives you the context. Right. We read everything in context, right? Mm -hmm. We ain't gonna read from the very first book right. and read the whole Bible. And we, we don't have time context. to read the whole thing oh, either, sorry. right? So we go in in context. Mm -hmm. Any question you ask, we answer it, right? So Jeremiah 31, verse 31. We both agree that if you get saved, you have, that means that you're going under the new covenant. Who is the new covenant for? Well, Romans 9 already answered it, but we're gonna answer it some more, right? And this is off the Bible, right? Starting at verse 30. 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Why did he just say I'll make a new covenant with the world? We go here, understand. He said I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. The house mean people, the people of Israel and the people of Judah. Right. Not verse thirty-two. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand. Same fathers, because this is about the seed. It's about the chosen blood. Right. To bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. Yeah, we broke the covenant of the Lord, that's why we got punished. That's why you believe in what you believe in today. Most of our people are Christians, most of our people are Catholics. That's the reason why. Come, verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. So you saying we ain't got to follow the law. We're not, you know, anymore. This saying that he going to put the law in our hearts. Who's saying we're not supposed to follow the law? Anymore? Is that what you're saying? No, no way. We definitely okay. have to follow the law. A hundred percent. Okay. A hundred percent. Yeah. Because if we don't, then we're hypocrites, right? And mm -hmm. Jesus says that, hey, whoever does not follow my law is not worthy of me. It should not enter heaven. But now what you got to do is you got to go figure out what the law is actually talking about and what is the law, you know, because of the Catholics. I'm just going off. Right. I, I I can't say you, but I'm just going off the religion that you say you follow, Catholics. Right. You see, a lot of them don't follow the law or say that you have to follow the law. Yeah. They say that the law is done away with that and you don't have to follow Saved by grace. And, yeah. You know, so, I, yeah. I, you know, if I can, if you permit me to answer a little bit to that, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, most actually Protestant movements do believe that, right? That we're only saved by grace. And as long as you believe, you're saved. I disagree with that, right? Because even though in the Bible it does say, I, I think it's Hebrews um, chapter 16 or something like that, where it, at some point it does mention, if you believe, you and your family shall be saved. But there's more context on it, right? There's more context, right? Uh, right? So it's not just one verse, it's the whole thing together. So many, my, which I love, my, but Protestant brothers, I want them to be saved, right? Right? But let's keep talking, right? Yeah. Um, they take that verse and take it as gospel, and that's the only thing. I'm like, well, that's true, but there's more context, right? We have to follow his commandments, right? Yes. The, the Catholic Church, as the institution as it is, as the religion as it is, does teach, guaranteed, guaranteed, that we have to follow the law of Jesus Right, but they're hypocrites, though. Cause yeah, they, yeah, there's many hypocrites. Your, your, your leaders, yeah, leaders, yeah, there's the many hypocrites. They don't follow the yeah, laws. He, yeah, I, I, I personally don't like the Pope, right? And and he's my leader, right? But then again, I have to be honest with you. Why you yourself a Catholic? Then? That's that's a good question. Let me get to there, right? Okay. Just because there's one bad traitor, like we had Judas betraying Jesus Christ, does not mean I'm going to leave my religion, right? Leave the truth. I'm going to stay there because it's the truth. If I knew it was fake, then I'll leave, honestly. But I've done my homework. Like, the Bible, right? You guys are reading from the Bible, right? Yep. Who wrote the Bible, the right? The, it's it's specifically the New Testament. Who wrote it? Who put it together, right? Are you talking about King James? The, the version that we're reading? No, no, no just the Bible about, in general. Like certain books. You're talking about certain the, the, books. Like okay, who wrote, King, so what King you want James, to that version, who, at, at what year was it approximately written? Um, he, he didn't write it. King James didn't write the Bible. It was translated. It was translated, translated. but what years? He directed it, right? What yeah, years? Um, what was that? Um, Approximately. Was that the Dark Ages, like before the, um... Henry, um, Henry VIII, right? It, it Around say, that time. It say, what, what was that, right? Yeah, you get it. When the yeah. King James, yeah. it, it should say it on the front of it. it yeah, like the Middle Ages, no, right? Yes, that, yeah. The Middle Ages, like the 1200s around that time, right? Yeah. Okay, but just to put it into context. But before that, there were different translations. But the same, in theory, the same Bible, right? We keep the, more, more or less disagreeing. ancient scrolls and stuff like that that he used to um, put it back no, before, in the, English. Uh, in, the, in the year of pressing one, one... Oh, so you want to know what year? 
No, yeah. sure. Tell me what year that was written. 1611. The 16. original, the original yeah. King James version. Yeah, I could have told you that. The original King James version, which which also have the 13 books that was taken out, which is um, uh, now today known as the Apocrypha. Apocrypha. In your, right. in, in, your, in your Catholic church. We have those. They, yeah, yeah. They, we have those. But the Providence them. churches is what took it out of the um, they, out of the yeah, original Bible. That's the problem. They, they took them. Martin Luther took them out, right? Right. But the reason, like, you guys are reading from the Bible, which is amazing. I love it, right? Because I believe it's the truth, right? But I believe the Catholic faith is a true faith, and you guys might disagree, and I totally respect that, right? We're here open to truth. But, but you've been saying a but, lot of stuff from the Catholic Church, and we've been proven different in the Bible. No, no, we haven't actually disregarded the, the Catholic Church. Let me go back just for a second. Okay, the Bible was written by the Catholic Church. You guys know that or not? No, I'm not sure, right? Martin not Luther. Written. Yeah. Mar no. Martin Luther created the doctrine of Christianity and... Um, what, uh, hold on, it'll tell you right here. He, the Bible is not written by the Catholic Church. Yes, it was. No, but, oh, but it don't no. say that in the Bible. The no, Bible no. tells you the Th That's right. It, it doesn't. It, the Bible doesn't say that. Of course it doesn't say Apostle that. Apostle Paul was not a Catholic. No, no. Okay. Did he write parts of the Bible? Yes, or no. But what? Did he write parts Absolutely. of the Bible? Absolutely. So you can't say the Bible was written by the Catholic Church. You could try to say it translated, maybe. Okay, sure. But it wasn't written. Okay. Right. Right. I, I you you're right. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and that, I, I that, agree. I meant to say they put it, they compiled it and put it together. And they didn't because King James did that. He took, no, no, he, he did. He, he took scholars. He took Hebrew well, scholars and he took Greek scholars. They came together and put the Bible together. No. Yes, they did. No. Yes. <laughs> King James. You want to bet? The King James Bible. I'll bet on you. What, what? Bi what Bible are you talking about? If you're talking about the King James version, no? it's called the King James version because right. King James put it together. Right. 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 Do you so, know there was a Bible before that, right? There were scrolls, yes. No, there was, no, there was, there was books. You, you, scrolls. That, that, that's just, you need to do a Google search. Bibles before the King James. Well, maybe there was, no. but they have it. But, but even, and, it, and it had the 73 books. That's in, that's including the book that the, the Protestant brothers took out. Okay. okay? Those, that book was written approximately in the year 190. 190. Okay. We had a Bible, a legit Bible. Even and you, you, the you, word. What's right? the, that, there's no problem with... But, 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 but we know but, that's but, not but, the no, first. But you're, you're discrediting saying? the Catholic Church, and I'm saying no. We are the ones who actually put the Bible together. We're not saying that we wrote it, right? You corrected me, and I will accept it, right? But they put it together, so... The, I, can't, they, I can't get no credit for that because there was Hebrew scrolls before they did that. I agree. So if they went to the they Hebrew scrolls them. and put something together... I'm saying they compiled and that this is the divine word of the Lord. Right, by inspired by the Holy Spirit, and there was a council of Nicaea. There's different councils that they got all these special men, and they're like, okay, what is the Bible? What is the truth? And that's how the Bible came together. You look it up in your own time. If I'm, you I'm go to a you. Uh, you got a Bible in there? I do have a Bible. Do, do it has the apocryphal for it? I the, no, actually. We, okay, okay. Let I don't me, have the Bible with when, me. when you go to your Catholic church, if you got a church that you go to, do you guys read from the Apocrypha? Yeah, we read from all of it. you have the Apocrypha in your Bible? I, okay. I don't know because you might have it. Okay. I don't know. So this this might be, this is the only New Testament that I have right here. Okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, just, yeah. Okay. So, just so you know. I, I'll not hold that against right? you. Uh, well, um, but that image though. What see, image? Go back to that image that you had. Who told you that, 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 that who's that, Mary? That is Mary. Who told you she looked like that? How could she look like that if her son's if her son's Oh, this is just an image, right? It means, but, but why have it? It, mean, it means nothing, right? Oh, okay. There's and, other and, images where actually she's darker. But we don't have that image. Well, so, that's so, not my problem. Right, but you right? do. What, what's wrong with that? Because then you're getting into idol. That's that's idol. That's worshiping. Idolatry. That's idolatry. No. And it's lies. Is it idolatry to have an image of your mom in your pocket? That's not your mom. No, but when is you it? worship it, yes. No, definitely yes. not. No. So why? Not. So why? No, I'm, okay. you're, you're, image, wait. Yes, you're, no, I'm problem. saying no. That's a sin. I, you're but, saying but, yes. I'm saying no. But we, you want to know we, why we say we, yes? Because why do you have it then? Because you worship it. No, I don't. Whether you, you whether have you it realize in your Bible, not, right? I do have it in my Bible. I would never have something like that in okay. my Bible. Right. So when you open it up, why do you have it in your Bible? You see it. Can I answer? What image popped in your head? Yeah. All right. Why do I have it in my Bible? Specifically, I have it in my Bible. As a placeholder. That, that's what, that, what, that is what, why. What do you think the image of the Lord is? Okay, but I'll, I'll answer your question because you guys think this this image. Yeah, sometimes I use this image as inspiration, no, as, 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 as to, to honor see. my lady. Okay, this one. Yeah. I, I this, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is bad. I'm going to tell you why. Yeah, tell me why. I'm going to tell you why. She got a serpent at the bottom of her feet. She's stepping on it. She got, Satan. she got a crown on her head. It's in the it's in the book of Revelation. It's in the book of... It's About in the, what? In the Bible. About what? Huh? Tell me. What? What? Look it up. With her having a crown on her head? Or no, or no, not the crown the stars. Okay. No, but she has a crown on her head. She's our queen. And she has a store. No. Yeah. Do you know what queen? We're humble. 
They right. were never called queens. And she's and Mary's right. humble. Right. And Mary's right. humble, so this right. is a bad portrayal of Mary. Yeah, she wouldn't honestly Mary she is probably, a prince. Yeah, she wouldn't like it, honestly. Listen. If, if uh, I told Mary so exactly. I'm, right, if I told Mary, honestly, okay. she's a humble woman. Mary, I'm gonna paint you with a with, 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 show the camera. Right. Show the camera. That's right, that's right. We look, show it. look we this, show it. this is off. I'm I'm telling him two re I'm telling multiple reasons. Our woman didn't put crawls on her head. No, the, she very, didn't. the very, the very, the um, very different um, portrayals of our holy woman. They were princes. They were never queens. Humble women. Humble women. I agree. Do, like, okay, do you know right. where that came from? Oh. Also, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go no, ahead. but but well, I want to well, this really quick. The, the, well, reason, the reason from, we have her this way is because we honor her as a queen. But she but will listen, never show let me, her. Let me tell you how that. Let me tell you why that's so wrong. Because back in back in the day when the um when we was in the Garden of Eden. That's why, that's why the serpent, right? Yep. That's why the serpent came to Eve yep. and um, um, influenced her to go off because they, um, the Canaanites, woman worship. Yep. That's why she got a crown on her head because yep. back then, the uh, the people, the nations, men, they, they worship women. Now, right? Now, now that's me, what, yep. No, yeah, that's yeah, your interpretation. No, it, it, of, it, it, that's, it, it, that's it right, talks though, about right? Queen no? yes. you, that, That's what happened to me back then, but that doesn't I mean, mean that's what's happening here. TV, but that's what that symbolizes. Yeah. Well, for you, not for me, though. Um, queen of heaven, the truth KGB, is the truth. And it's no, the, the truth can be misunderstood and misinterpreted. Well, but we finna prove to you that it's a bad thing for a woman to be queen. You know the story of Jezebel. She was wicked. She was like the Jezebel closest. Jezebel was, yes. Yeah, she was closest. But Esther wasn't. But it's the it, Holy Spirit. That, it's not. Holy Ghost. What, what, what verse? Okay, um, no, but watch Jeremiah this. 44. Um, right. Can you get the whole thing? Like yeah, Jeremiah 4. Now watch this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars. In the book of Revelations, it says there's... Oh, uh, is it seven or twelve? Seven. Se oh, uh, 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 um, we can just look yeah. it up. But it's not nine, though, right? And now, now watch this. It never said Mary had the stars around her head. You no, are it was twelve stars in the Book of Revelation. Oh, oh, can you check this out? Can you check this out in Revelations one, right? It never said Mary had the stars around her head. This was talking about the Lord, bro. So what you're doing is you're putting Mary in the position of the Lord and you're worshiping Mary, man. No, we're not worshiping no, Mary. No, not you, but yeah. whoever made this picture is. Right. Some <laughs> mis mis mi 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 some people may misunderstand it, right? But I'll be honest. Like, when does the Bible ever say Mary had the stars around her head? Can you? Wait, yeah. I'm not, say wait, ahead, I'm not saying that she's got the stars because of the Bible. I'm saying it I imagine because of the serpent. No, right? no, I'm just, and the moon. That, that this that part here, right here, this part here is Revelation. I'm not gonna say that the color blue is in the in the book of Revelation. Like, there's artistic liberty on this, right? Like, like everything. I just told like, you whether like, you like, want to like, believe it or not. Like a piece of art, having, right? Having that type of having having a picture of a white man in your house, and you um that's um that's supposed to be Jesus when it gives you a depiction in the Bible of how he looked. Yep. That's worshiping. That's idolatry. Yep. Whether you idolatry. say it or not, having that picture in your pocket of that that's woman idolatry. who is representing herself no. as a queen someone in power yep. where it says in the bible no one images yes right you have a graven image that, that wow. represent the things of above that are gods it says that that's not a representation and, of that though that's, yeah because that's, that's that's I, I just proved to you how that's wrong so you really a man of the lord you say oh i gotta get I rid of the this. lord okay so yeah. look, you have to say i gotta get rid of this if you don't get rid of it if, if it wasn't if it wasn't i come for me yes you're right if it wasn't you, I come, okay but for me it isn't right Listen. for me is reverence okay. reverence like the saints we we believe in the saints we okay. don't think they're gods we reverend them we respect them listen, right because they were good friends of jesus christ you didn't Lord. know you didn't know at first so i i can't hold from this day on in the past yeah i can't hold that against you because you didn't know but i'm telling you can now. i read this so, to him so yeah yeah but so if you keep going with that i just told you how it's wicked it's, it's nine stars First off, and right here in Revelations one, yeah, and in the midst of the settled seven candlesticks, which we know they had seven stars. If I could get more context, but straight to the point though, right? It says one like into the Son of Man. So they took the Son of Man from out of there, and they put Mary as that image, and then they put the stars around her head. Can you read that verse? Um, let me get. Um, I get the more context. So we can get. I'm kind of jumping around. So okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm away because I don't want you to uh, forget what you're trying to find. But that's a graven image, and you worshiping yeah, it, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not worshiping. Here, here, here. Worshiping, worshiping is, is the intent. Wait, you don't. Worshiping you don't is the intent of the heart, right? So what, it's what what you know. Wait, worship. Don't, don't. What is worship? Let's define worship. Worship is what you know, what you believe as being something that's superior as a god. I don't think she okay. is a god by any means. She's the mother of Christ, and I have reverence toward the mother of Christ. If Jesus Christ was right here, right now, right, and Mary was right next to it, to her or to him. 
I would get on my knees. Not because I think she's a god. Out of but respect. Just, but this is still a problem. Out of respect. Well, we are wait, no, no, no. Listen, wait, no, no. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. That's why I want to read this. Out of respect. Let me read this to you. Wouldn't you do that? Okay, let me read this to you. Wait, wait. If Jesus Christ was right here, right now, and and Mary was right there, wouldn't you guys get on your knees? But listen. This yes or no? This is the problem with that, though. Right? This is the problem with that. Will we get on our knees to the Lord? This is the problem with that. What Mary has to do with it? Out of reverence, the, right? No, with bro. Out of reverence. When, 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 the, look, right. the, the angel was only dealing with Mary because the, the, our, our the Lord, Lord was in her stomach. Right? When the Lord was She's born, special lady. that's the only no, time. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. When the Lord was born, the angel dealt with Joseph. He it's told Joseph, problem, right? take him and flee to Egypt. That he was not dealing good. with Mary no more. It was only because the baby was in her stomach. That's the only so time you read Mary, it in Revelation. So what happened to Mary? She stayed. He just well, she's, she's an Israelite woman. Okay. Wait. Yeah, she's still. And yeah, and that's wait, wait. Wait, no, what happened to Joseph? To, to take the child and leave, what? right? To so Egypt. The angel yeah. that told that to Joseph. Yeah, Joseph. My point is that he was talking, the angel was talking directly to Mary, right? Right. Only when the Lord was in her stomach. Well, after okay. the Lord was born, who did the angel deal with? And we could get that, but we kind of jumped yeah, around. What's the point of that? Let, let what's me, the point of that? It, it proves that because the Catholic Church and different churches worship Mary. No, we don't worship all Mary. All I'm saying is, no, that, I'm all I'm saying is, not she, she's a regular woman, a Hebrew Israelite. A special regular woman. I agree. Special though. You can say she's, special because well, she's the Lord. I mean, she gave birth to Jesus Christ. But look, what do you think but look at special? this. But look at this. Hey. No, I, I, I get, I, the Father's special. That'd be stupid, honestly, Bro. on your part, if you don't think she's special because she gave birth to the Almighty Lord God. The Father gave birth. The father, the father through gave the Holy Spirit. The Father gave birth. Through yeah, through the Holy Spirit. Yeah, okay, but she was okay. a vessel. Okay, let me uh, let me ask you this. Right? Yeah, she was a vessel. You you got your point. But let me ask you this: Did the Lord exist before He was born by Mary? Did He what? Did He exist before? Yeah, He was. He, was he, was, born he existed. Okay, okay so yeah. yeah, so He came. He came plenty of times. But that's a deeper. That's a deeper situation because He was reincarnated. We get that. But right, right, here, right. let's go. Um, Revelation 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, all, who also am your brother and companion tribulation and the kingdom of patience of Jesus Christ, was at the Isles that is called Patmos, the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I, as the Spirit was um, on the Lord, on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega. I want to get straight to it. Oh, verse 14. Yeah, it says, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened to the son of the man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and the girts about the paps with a golden girt. And then it just goes into his image, which we're not going to go into that. You said what verse? All right here, 16. And he had in his right hand seven stars. The first is not nine stars, like on that picture. And seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was the sun shining in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell to my feet as the dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. So my point in the saying is, is it's not, look, the mystery of the seven stars which thou saw in the right hand. It's the Lord, not Mary. Yeah, exactly. With stars over it's there. a he, right? not Different. her. No, no, you're right, right? And, I, I believe so, that. So, so, I, so, so I would never make an image putting Mary in the place of the Lord. I would never we, make... We don't, we don't I, do that either. We're not doing in that. Your, it's, in your, it's in your pocket. Wait, we're not, I'm not, I never this said that. Okay. Just because I, I have an preset. image of a woman does not say I'm taking, she's taking the place of God. It doesn't even say that in the image. Right? But, but what you I'm, were any likeness though. But look, what, any likeness. But what I'm saying is, I would. I respect that. I, I would never that. take the image of anybody and, and then portray them to be where that's supposed to be the Lord. I agree. It's supposed 100%. to be the Lord with the stars. No, you're right. Not anybody right. else on earth. One hundred percent. You guys are right. So that means that that's a bad picture. You should get rid of it. No, but you're now this you're, you're changing context though. Oh. Because you think you're saying you're thinking that I'm worshiping this woman. I did okay. I'm not okay, doing okay, that. Okay, okay, so, okay. right. Let's just say you're not worshiping. No one is taking Jesus' place. He's number one, one hundred percent. Okay, but it's still a. Bad and no one picture. is. No one is actually even close to worshiping. I'm not her. saying you. I'm just saying the picture. Whoever made why, the picture. Why do you have that's that? That's a bad picture. Why do I have that? Image? Yeah. Why do you carry that around on you? Because that's an apparition that happened for us. Oh. But it just said no, that we, the Lord had the stars over his head, not yes. Mary. No. You, you, guys probably, you guys probably don't what know. What does this? that represent for you, though? Like, what does that do? Like, you, you. Okay, what does that represent? It just yeah. represents. It just represents our lady. That's all it represents to me. But even, but oh, even then, that goes off because that's a picture of an Edomite woman. When if she to came, you, from, not to me. Yeah, but that's what it is. That's the truth. That's what that is. That's so, 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 so why don't you got a picture of um, Sarah? Why don't you got? Why, why are you carrying a picture with Sarah with stars around her head? Why aren't you carrying a picture of Esther with stars around her head? Because why aren't you carrying a married. picture of Judas around her head? Why, why aren't you carrying a picture because of all the other women? Because they were not as special as Mary. 
because they were not especially See? married. So, so, as simple as that. So, 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 so that cuts right. what you're you saying. Worship. Right? No, no. I'm not saying that. You said an apparition of what? Of, of our lady. Of your lady. Of our lady, yeah. So what made her special? My, my, I, I see her as my spiritual lady. So why not just carry the picture of the Lord? You I know, do. But okay, I the, actually oh, do. So the Lord tells us not to worship. We only supposed to worship the Lord. That's right. So, so we, only the Lord. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this is this well, is he, well, he, he this is this is excellent. No, I agree with that. that. I only I, I okay, only worship God. I agree with that. I worship only God. Yourself, this so. is uh, if, 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 this I, is, if I worship look, this lady right here. Can I read this to you? Right I should yes. go to hell. Yeah. Let, let, let's let's so, so, so we can get back to the topic. This so, is so you just gotta understand your opinion on it. Then you gotta pray that the Lord's opinion is your opinion on it. Because the Lord's opinion is different. We'll be judged for it. This is the truth. This is Exodus twenty and four. Thou shalt not make unto thee. Any graven images or any likeness of anything that Ooh. is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath Ooh, so, or that is in the water. So guess under what? Keep reading. Keep reading. Wait, wait, wait. So, so guess what? There's more context. It don't keep matter reading. if you worship or not. It says it sh you should not make into you any graven image. So mm -hmm. you should not take a picture, make it or whatever, or somebody else make it for you and have it as a graven image. Keep going. Right. Keep and, going. and wait. Yeah, before only, before only we keep going. Before we keep going. In the old test, in the old testament, God instructed. Right, instructed the, the Jews, right, the Israelites, whatever you want to call them, right, to create angels that are what made in the image of things above for the covenant. Where does it say that? It does say that. You're you talking about the, the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, the Ark of the Covenant. Okay, right. But they, but, they and those are images, image. right? No, that's not right. an image. That's a that, you or have a statue. Picture. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's different. No, he, it's he the said, same. Put an angel over here, angel over there. But they didn't have feature. They were made out of gold. What do you mean they have features? They didn't have. What's a feature? Like the features, you got the skin color. No, it did actually. God was very specific of how these uh, angels well, had to look to like. It, though? Right? Were they supposed to worship it? No, no, exactly. no. We're not supposed to worship. And, and we're not worshiping this either. Where you guys are trying and, to put words not, in my not, mouth not, not in our people. culture. Okay, I mean, okay, okay. Our different understanding of worship. So right. is it different? If if I got a picture in my Bible that I see on a daily, we call that worship, and you say it's not. Okay. Well, gonna find out you know can we get straight back to the point though because yeah, we want to get yeah. back on topic uh we in Duna Monterey 30 to answer the brother question of why you got to go around the world what happened and, and Duna Monterey 30 is going to answer more of your questions too I mean this is good though we, we, we can't we can't tell you something and then stand on it and tell you you have to believe it all we can do is give you the truth and then if you want to accept it or not well, then, well I accept the truth all the time whether I understand it's a different story. Okay, right? so let's let's see if we start with this. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1. And it shall come to pass when all these things are upon thee, when all these things come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Right, so the Lord driven us amongst all the nations. It's not that all any nation could be saved. It's the Israelites that are amongst all nations could be saved. Keep okay. going. And Keep shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee. So when you and me come together, and we return to our Lord, the true Lord, which name ain't Jesus, because the letter J didn't exist during the time. So that's a cut on you right there, right? You call it on name, you got to call on name for salvation, right? Are you calling on the correct name? No, because the letter J didn't exist during the time. So the name came. I mean, that's Jesus. we're using the English word, right? We're using our we native don't, language, right? We don't, we don't call the Lord by that name. We call him by his Hebrew name. We use it maybe with you because you call him so right. you can understand. Okay. But we call, we use the, we pray to the Hebrew name. What's, his, what's that? Y H W H, right? That's what po pops up if you know so any, any scholar. No, Yahweh. but it's not Yahweh. Yahweh. Right, right. It's it's Yahweh because Yahweh. the letters that will be missing will all be the same letters. Right. The Y H W H, which is the A, it's Yahweh. Okay. They translate that to Jehovah, that right? but the letter J didn't exist. You're right. You're you see right. what I'm saying? Yeah, so totally. we use the actual name. So you got to call my name. My respect for you guys. I like but, it. But I like that you guys what, do that. But guess like what? It. You got the name now. The son named Yahweh Shai. You got it now. Keep going. I command thee this day, thou and thy children, and with all thy heart and with all thy soul, yep. that then the Lord will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee. So he gonna take the native, the Native Americans, the Latinos, the captivities. He gonna take the curses off of us. We ain't gonna have to follow their religion. No more. We gonna follow our true Lord. He gonna. And will return and gather thee from all the nations, whether the Lord thy God have scattered thee. So it's saying he gonna gather the Israelites from all the nations where the Lord scattered them. Not all the nations. Keep going. That's the misunderstanding. Verse four. And that's how the Catholic Church goes off. They're not telling the truth of the Lord. If any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will I, the Lord thy God. So like from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. 
and the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed, and thou shalt possess it, and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers. And the Lord thy God will circumcise thine heart and the, the, the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Verse 7, And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies yep. and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. That means the Lord going to take the curses off the Israelites, the Latinos, Native Americans, and the, and the so-called Negroes, put us together and put the curses on our enemies. Who's our enemy? Wouldn't the people that took us in captivity be our enemy? Mm -hmm. Somebody on earth got to be the Israelites' enemies. I agree. So who is it? It's the people that took us in captivity. Okay. This Deuteronomy 28, verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters will be given unto another people. Your sons and your daughters and your people will be given unto another people. They have power over your people. When I go to Mexico, I see white men that own things, casinos and stuff like that. I see white men on your statues. I see white men on your uh, mountains. When you come to America, where the where, where we at, you see white people, uh, you see the Catholic Church. They the put up the those white type of images mountains. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We go down Town, you see white men statues and stuff uh, or same thing happened to us happened to y'all our sons and daughters was given to another people and thy eyes right shall down. look and fell with lonely for them all day long and there shall be no white in their hands so the people in slavery when y'all went to slavery y'all went down by the Spaniards we couldn't do nothing about it they took us down because really the Lord took us down because we were sinning against them it says the fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not get up so we know that America was built on the backs of slaves. Wall Street was started. The first um, trade on Wall Street was slaves, black slaves. But, you know, that's our labors of building this place, but we don't get the benefit off of it. We're the minorities. We're at the bottom with the wage gap and stuff. Same thing with y'all, you know, because Native Americans, it was their land and stuff, and it got took from them, right? Um, New Mexico, Arizona, California was all a part of Mexico. They didn't buy the land, so they took it from them. Right, and these are the people that you wanna that, that you think you have to come together with, but that's another story, right? It says, and thou should not be only oppressed and crushed away. Your people are oppressed. When I go to Mexico, they way poorer than us and even America. You know, all the houses got gates on them, chains, that's how bad it is and stuff like that. It says, um, you know, so that thou shall be like they make pesos, that shit like they might work a whole week in making pesos and it might equal up to maybe a hundred dollars in American money. That's how poor they are. Yeah, it's basically uh, it's a hundred pesos, which 20 is dollar, twenty pesos, to which dollar. is ten dollars a day. That's how much we make. So yeah. it's, it's 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 horrible. We're, yeah. We live like slaves. Yeah, but you got that whole land. Why can't y'all? You got the whole land of your people. Y'all should be. But that's the curses that the curses that I'm reading. That's why y'all can't. You know what I mean? Well, that's be some like, people, right? I mean, not not all people live that way, right? Yeah, but the Lord judges the nations, like we said. Daniel was a righteous right. man, right. but he still was thrown in the lions. Bro. Because the, the curses was on the nation of Israel, right? Um, so that thou should be mad for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shall see, right? Verse um, 36, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou set over thee, into a nation which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, and there shall thou serve other gods, wood and stone. So they put us under, we are under another nation, and now you're serving their gods. They tell you it's the God of the Bible, but they not say anything it's not, it's not a, the, what you, the God that you're worshiping, it's not the God of the Bible. But they're saying that it's the God of the Bible. So if you worship another God, you don't know that, right? But who's, but who's this God that you're saying? Jesus Christ. So you're not that's, saying... That's not his real name. Okay. That's so not you're not saying he's God. That's not his image. No, I'm saying the God of the Bible, now it's a translation, is, or there is a real God, but that's not his name. And okay. then the image that they put up, in their churches, or if you type on Google, Jesus right. Christ, the image that's popped up, right. that's not his true image. So they're using the Bible to say, look, this is the God of the Bible, but that's not the literal God of the Bible. Okay, but well, let's say that in many places, his skin is like mine or darker, all right? In a way darker than yours. Right. We can prove it. All right, okay. All right. Okay, let's, let's say that's been done. Okay. Then, right? And let's say, yeah, we mispronounce his name. Sure. Okay. Like, yep. we make mistakes. My, okay. my kid mispronounce my name all the time. Yep. Right? Yep, like, I follow you. What's the big deal with that, though? Like, the, the big deal is after that you. I mean, have he's to still say, God, right? Like he's still my God, even though. No, hey, God, yes. right, Jesus. But the problem, the, my, pro the problem is, is you have to call on the name. You have to know the name to be saved. So you got to know his literal name. And then the second problem comes. Can you show me where that says in the Bible? You have to call him that specific name. Those uh, that, those, those that should call on the name should be saved. What does that mean? On that specific name. 
Yes. If 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 if, if, if you post show me in the Bible. My name is just oh. typing those that call on the no, name. No, you don't want to hear that. You want to hear right. the, where it says Yahweh. So you're not gonna find that in the, the Bible. The point is, 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 is the, the, right. the, the, but the point is, you have to call on the 